Hello and a very warm welcome to this video. I'm Matt. I'm Michelle. And today we are going to have a look at the British Aerospace 146. So, Michelle. Yeah, so my question is, it's a very small airliner, so why does it have four engines? A very good question, and we are going to discuss this in this video. The history starts with the BAC-111, which was an aircraft ahead of its time. But as it aged, the need for a new, innovative model became clear. Hawker Siddeley, later British Aerospace, saw an opportunity to fill a market gap between the turboprops and smaller jets and set out to design a regional jet that would meet the demands of short-haul routes. Their goals were simple, longevity, reliability, and ease of use. They wanted an aircraft that could be powered by an APU on the ground, with air stairs for easy boarding access and baggage compartments without the need for loaders. The goal of the aircraft was to operate and land at any airport without the need for additional equipment. When looking for engines for the aircraft, Hawker Siddeley approached several manufacturers but relied on Rolls-Royce due to their existing relationship with one of their regional jet competitors, Fokker. Unfortunately, Rolls-Royce was experiencing financial challenges at the time, but couldn't allocate resources from their struggling Concorde project to create an engine that met Hawker Siddeley's specific needs. In 1971, Rolls-Royce declared bankruptcy, promoting the British government to step in and nationalize the company under the new name of Rolls-Royce LTD. Hawker Siddeley had to look for a new engine manufacturer and found the best results with AVCO Lycoming. Michel, do you know that they selected an engine which was designed for helicopters? Really? Yes, that's true. They have chosen the T-55, a legendary helicopter engine with a proven track record of reliability and durability. The T-55 turboshaft engine was originally developed in the 1950s and has since been used in a variety of military and civilian helicopters, including the iconic Chinook helicopter. However, for the BAE-146, the T-55 engine was modified to make it suitable for use in a jet aircraft. One of the most important changes was the conversion from a vertical lift helicopter engine to a commercial jet engine. Even after modifying the engine, it was still not strong enough with just two engines, which led to the decision to install four engines instead. This new configuration offered the necessary power and redundancy to ensure safe operation. Interestingly, the engines on this aircraft don't have thrust reversers. Instead, the aircraft has a tail-mounted folding air brake and full-width spoilers on the wings, as well as strong wheel brakes to help during landing and deceleration. This conversion was a big, huge achievement by the engineers and technicians involved. The modifications also included increased ventilation and cooling to ensure the engine would operate effectively at high speeds and altitudes. The result was the Lacoming ALF 502 engine based on the core of the T55 engine. The ALF 502 engine provides greater power and efficiency compared to the T55 engine and also operates with lower noise levels. It's interesting to note that the BAE-146 was nicknamed the Whisper Jet due to the quietness of this engine. Talking about the BAE-146, formerly known as the HS-146 and later as the Afro RJ, I can tell you that one of its main advantages is its four-engine configuration. This design provides greater safety and redundancy in case of an engine failure, which is especially important during takeoff and landing. Another advantage of the four-engine design is the ability to operate from shorter runways. This makes the BAE-146 ideal for the regional routes where airports may have shorter runways. This means the aircraft can access a wider range of airports and destinations, making it a popular choice for regional airlines. 
However, it's important to note that the four-engine configuration does come with increased fuel consumption and maintenance costs. Four engines require more fuel to operate than two, and there are more components to maintain and replace. So this is why this very small airliner has four engines. Yes, I hope it answered your question. Thank you very much for your attention, and goodbye. Make sure to like and subscribe.